Welcome to the course again. So, in this lesson, we will learn about OOP or Object Oriented Programming, also known as Object Oriented Programming Language, which is a programming paradigm. Object Oriented Programming is a programming paradigm based on the concept of objects, which can contain data and code. The data is in the form of fields and the code is in the form of procedures. A common feature of objects in that procedures are attached to them and can access and modify the object's data field. So when the term comes object-oriented programming, four pillars might be mentioned. So what are these four pillars? The principles are called the four pillars of object-oriented programming or OOP. These four pillars are inheritance, polymorphism, encapsulation, and abstraction. We will go through that uh, later in the course. So, so what is the language? Some of the most widely used and object-oriented programming languages are Java, C++, and Ruby, like Python and JavaScript. Many, many languages that are not strictly object-oriented also provide features like classes and objects inspired by object-oriented programming. So, later on, so in exclusion, what does OOP mean? So, object-oriented programming, or OOP, is a style of programming characterized by the identification of classes of objects closely linked with the methods, functions, with which they are associated. So, what does it have to do with VBA and Excel? So, this course is all about coding in Excel, or Excel coding. So, when you open up Excel, you can see that this type of interface opens up and you can see that there are a lot of cells, row and column. So, we know that every program or every software is made by using codes and other programs. So, it's based on how it's made. Let's start with Excel. In Excel, when you want to add in data, an example you want to add data in F4. If you just type F4 without selecting the cell you will see that it will end up on the default cell which is A1. So if you want to add in data in F4 what you will have to do first is select F4 and now it's selected and now you can add your data or whatever you want. So this is one type of programming how it works in Excel. So without selecting the cell, you can't add in data, you can't format any. If you want to add in color, you can also do that. But without selecting a cell, you will not be able to do it, not even by using codes. Or maybe if you modify this program by using codes. So how will you do it? So to do it, now you can use VBA. We will go to that later in the course. Let me tell you the basics. So when you want to add in data in Excel, you have to select the cell, which is also the data field or the cell. Now, another thing, if you want to add in or use a formula, let me tell you, not here. Let's go to the cell in example one, two, or maybe just go to three, four. And now if you want to add in or get the result by or sum all of them what you do is press equal sum because this is already the function or this is already programmed like this so what you're gonna do is close parenthesis or press tab first and then what we do is select it or type in close parenthesis and hit enter thus we get our result but if we don't use the same or the programs or the codes which are already used in or how Excel understands the formulas and data that is all designed default so what we're gonna do next is if we add in a different formula an example let's say plus and we know that there are no formulas named plus in Excel so when we hit enter you will see that this name error has appeared up so this formula or Excel does not understand that formula or does not understand that command <coughs> so what we're gonna do is go to Visual <coughs> Basics now now I will tell you the relativity of 
VBA and Microsoft Excel. So VBA is the software which helps you to modify any program or any software. Mainly VBA is mainly used on Excel, Word or Access which is all of them are Microsoft based. So we can tell that VBA is a dependent, dependent software which runs on another software. So it runs on the background or maybe runs above it. You can use it at the same time. So when you want to add in or modify or give new commands in example you can also add in like plus so that the sum of so that you can all sum it uh, so it's similar to like customizing your programs and coding so you can all do it and in VBA and in VBA you can see that there's the project so what you're gonna do is select the project first then you can see that this is the coding area or the coding panel which you see so what we're gonna do is type in the formulas or whatever modification you want to do and then you will see that Excel will actually receive it or get the codes or programming or the commands which you're trying to did or modified so this is the correlation of Microsoft Excel and VBA. We have known why OOP is used mainly so OOP or object oriented programming is a way of thinking about and organizing code for maximum reusability. With this use of programming a program compromises objects that can interact with the user. Other objects or other programs this makes programs more efficient and easier to understand. So you get it. So an example, I want to fill the color here. You can see that after I selected it, then it got yellow. If I want J1 to be yellow, if I just press this, you can see that J1 is not yet yellow because you have to select it first and then format it. Now if I want to make a box and then press, you can see that the whole area is now yellow. But if you don't select it, let me go undo it and just select a single cell and then press this you can see only a single cell or only a single data field is now formatted so what we're gonna do is select the cell and then start formatting this is what means by object oriented programming language and now what I will do is tell you its advantages so the advantages are reusability readability security inheritance encapsulation polymorphism and abstraction so now let's get on with the next lesson.